Good morning everyone and welcome to a brand new YouTube channel. It's Silver Plated here and I'm going to be doing all sorts of silver things as you can probably guess by the name of my channel. Now I'm going to be doing silver player reviews, I'm going to be doing silver squads, we're going to be doing silver infos, we're going to be doing silver unrated. We're going to be doing all sorts and we're going to be starting off with a USA squad builder, uh, obviously silver. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a keeper called... Hamid. Now Hamid was mixed. He had really good one-on-ones and I found him saving some incredible shots but long shots and stuff he struggled but he's the only really good keeper. Franklin is uh, his, his pace and he's actually really good at heading and stuff. He, he did a really good job. Now Win, I was really surprised with Win. I always thought he was just a pace novelty player but I actually found him to be incredibly good at jumping, strength, uh, good on the ball, good at passing um, and obviously the pace doesn't harm you. Um, but yeah, just a Really good player. He did a really good job. Not as good as this guy though. Gonzalez in form. Wow, he should be an 80 rated goal. That's what he feels like. He's got incredible heading. He's six foot five. Like honestly, he wins everything in the air. Uh, next guy though, pretty poor. Castillo, left back, not great. He should be a left mid, and even then, he'd be a pretty poor one to be honest. Okay, next up after him, we have McGee from LA Galaxy. Now, this guy was all round okay. He did, he did a pretty good job. He wasn't maybe as good as an inform should be, but he did pretty good. He got three goals in seven games, so that's not too bad for a centre mid. Now, a lot of people play him as striker, but I wouldn't. I'd keep him at centre mid. He did good. He's got a good passing, and he, yeah, he just sat in the middle and just passed it around, really. Next up, though, we've got a better player. We've got Bedoya. Now, Bedoya has 80 pace, and he's got high attacking work weights on both. Now, that means he's going to run up and down the field like nothing else. Now, he got forward, he got back, he defended, he attacked, he scored a couple, he got some assists. He just did a really good job. Really good dribbling as well. I was really surprised. Zussi. Now, someone converted this guy down from a cam, so that's why he's so expensive at 9,400. Um, but, yeah, a really good, really good player. Just really good overall. He got four goals in seven games. I found him to be playing as a cam, even though I'd converted him to a centre mid. But he did a really good job. Now, Gat. Now, he is phenomenal. Wow. He is not just pace. You'd think he just pace, but 72 dribbling, really good finishing, and his weak foot feels like five star. Honestly, it's a bit disappointing he doesn't have more skill moves, but never mind. Now Bunbury, wow, this guy is Drogba. This guy is Drogba. Now honestly, he's got height, pace, strength, heading, finishing. Scored seven goals in seven games. Just a tank. Like he just, can't, no one gets past him. Eddie Johnson now is, oh, he's really good. Now, maybe I should have played him the striker version and not the inform because he didn't really suit being a winger, but still really strong and really fast. Really good player. Uh, and his, his heading was phenomenal. Like, it's just out of nowhere. Really good heading. Um, and it's always cool to have an inform up front. Um, okay, now we'll go and have a look at some goals now. Uh, so... Yeah, this team, it was just really, really fun to play with. Excellent on the counter. And I found that the midfield just controlled it completely. Now, this is Franklin, though. Right back, dribbling in and out and just smashing it past the keeper. Now, maybe he should be the right mid. Uh, Bunbury here is just showing what he's got. Like, that is not a silver player, surely. What? I mean, what is the keeper going to do about that? That's Drogba. That's Drogba playing. Um, but, yeah, I just found him excellent to use. Uh, really, really good player. Um, McGee on penalties, I didn't miss one, uh, he did phenomenally well, um, Franklin doing great work again, I think the thing with Franklin is he pushes up a lot, um, but it's okay though because Wynn has incredible pace, uh, so no one really gets past, like, I found Wynn incredibly good for cutbacks, like, no one seemed to be able to get the cutbacks against me, which, you know, a lot of people do, uh, try to do, but it was, it was really good that, that Wynn was there, and Franklin in the, uh, he, I, couldn't find a player who could beat him. Um, Gat just placed one into the bottom corner there. I found Gat's finishing incredible. Like, this one here. Like, he just smashes it past the keeper. I know it's overpowered front post, but even so. But Doya is just... He, is, he was probably one of my favourite players on the team, other than Bunbury. But um, Bunbury here, just he's just showing his strength and his, his just ability to just hold the ball in amongst tackles. And I mean, honestly, look at this shot. Wow, keeper, you are not saving that. You are not saving that. Uh, here we go again with Gat. He's just, he's just, a, he's, he felt like playing with a sort of 80 rated fast, like, winger from gold. I don't know, it just felt amazing. Bunbury just holding everyone off there really easily. Um, and it's just, I found this team to just be the complete team. The defence was good, the midfield was good, 
the attack was phenomenal, and I just thought that the combination of strength and everything else was really good. Um, so I've given it a 9 out of 10 for the USA squad. Uh, this is a brand new channel, I need you to subscribe, and we're going to get some really cool videos.